We finally come to the end of our stay here in the island of Koron, which is in Palawan. Um, later on today, we're going to fly back to the city in Manila, where I'm going to stay with my parents for a few days. We got an alarming news last night that my dad wasn't feeling too well. They actually had to take him to the hospital for a checkup just to be safe. So later on, once we get off the plane, we're going to go straight to my parents' house because by then my dad will be back from the hospital and we're hoping that all the results will be good. But before we go and leave this, I'm going to hit the breakfast buffet. The first dish on the buffet is the Spanish sardines, which is one of my favorites. Trust me, it's really good. Next is the frankfurters, which is a sausage. I'm not really into like hot dogs or sausage. And of course, it's not a typical Filipino dish. It's probably for foreigners that are not used to Filipino food. It goes the same with this one, ham and pineapple. Although I like this one better than the sausage. Buttered vegetables. At first I was like, what is this? But once I got a look at it, it looks exactly like chop suey. Chop suey. Right here is baked macaroni. Now I'm not quite sure why it's served here during breakfast, but I'm not complaining because oh, baked macaroni is something I would eat any time of the day. Somebody wants to see that. And for the rest of the buffet, it's just your typical sides of salad, bread, rice, and that's it. Regular stuff. It's my brother. I got me some macaroni. Oh, that's good. That looks good. I got some waffles. I can see that on the menu, but I saw it when they grabbed some food. A little bit of rice. Got the sardines. And the ham. With pineapple. I started off with a ham. As you can see, it's a little hard to cut. Well, maybe it's because the ham is a little dry. And I'm not really sure if they did that on purpose. Well, it is dry. Although it's good, it's not salty or oily. The pineapple gives the sweetness to it. Next I tried the baked macaroni. I remember when I was in high school, we used to go to this place where they sell this. I remember putting Tabasco sauce on it. It was so hot, we just bare the pain because the macaroni was really good. I almost missed this one. It's the waffles. This is pretty unique. Usually I know you put syrup on a waffle, but this one has something in it. I'm not sure what it is. Macaroni and cheese in the kinakain natin. Let's go buy. Yeah. It actually tastes like syrup, but it doesn't have the consistency of syrup, which is like honey. This one's kind of solid. It's more like a doughy kind of texture. Now some people wouldn't think that sardines are good to eat. I know most of them are in cans and soaked in tomatoes. But this one, I think people should try this. It usually comes in a bottle soaked in oil. I think it's olive oil. I know it has some carrots, um, maybe pickles, I'm not sure. But when I first tried this, and you mix it with rice, it's really good. Some of them are spicy. I don't really like the spicy ones, but I'd still eat it because it's really that good. Hmm. After we finish breakfast, we settled our bills and finally leave the island and head back to the city.
This was the dried fish I was talking about that my brother bought yesterday. I'm surprised they actually delivered it here at the airport and it came in time before we boarded. Thank you. to the fish to come out. That's the back. It is raining. Canine crew. He's a narcotics guy. After we got out of the airport, we waited for our ride to take us straight to my parents' house. 
alam na niya ikaw eh Kinuwento ako na ikaw sa kanya oh, Ito pa lang pala yung Imus okay, Ito pa yeah. lang oh This city is called Imus. It is where my mom grew up. We used to come here when I was a kid. And being here right now, it's totally different. It wasn't this busy before. Now there's just too many cars and too many people. It looks so different, I don't even recognize the place. Oh, grab no? After about two or three hours, we made it back to my parents' house. And like I said, my dad wasn't feeling too well. Although he came back from the hospital and everything checked out okay, he still doesn't feel too good. So hopefully in about a few days, he'll get back to feeling better. Pastillas. These are called pastillas. The only thing I know about this is that it's made of milk. It's like sweet candy and it's soft. See that? Mmm. Pastillas. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Creamy. Milky. Creamy, milky. This guy right here. is all right there you go this i don't know what this is but it's with sugar let's try it oh Ugh. Ugh. i don't like it Ugh. It tastes like, um, crap. Oh. I'm so glad that my dad is feeling a lot better. The good thing about it is that my dad didn't lose his appetite and he's eating. Right here is having grilled tilapia and arroz caldo, which is equivalent to porridge, I guess. I always see Filipinos eating arroz caldo during the rainy season. It's actually really tasty. It's mostly like comfort food. It's really good. So right now it's time to have lunch. The first dish that my mom made, I'm... Actually, I'm not quite sure if my mom made this. It's called rillenong bangos. It's milked fish stuffed with carrots. And I think with its own meat, all grinded up. I'm not so sure about that also. This next one is called tulingan. It's also fish, which is mackerel. It's cooked with coconut milk, with ginger and some lemongrass. Every time I eat this, I always have it in my head that it's like curry, but it doesn't taste like curry at all. My mom served this to me before when we left to Palawan. It's beef heart and liver, and I think she added some pork in there too. Urso deoxycholic acid. Heart. Pantuno yung liver. Sludge log ng cholesterol ng gold bladder. Ang binibigay namin. And right next to it are snails. I don't know what kind of snails they are. It's gonna be my first time to try it. But it's also cooked with coconut milk and mixed in with some vegetables and ginger. This is not the type of snails that I normally like. My mom decided to make me try different kinds of snails because she knows that I really like them. Typically the snails that I like are the ones that you use for escargot. But this one's really different. Apparently there's a lot of different kinds of snails that I don't know about. Yeah. I like this. I'm gonna try this again. Tilapia. Oh. 
Liver again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, liver. Yeah, yeah. See the snail. Wow. It's my dad's clock. Getting a little bit sidetracked here because I'm really impressed by this. My dad actually made this. He just didn't put it together. He actually made the wood. He carved it and everything. I'm really impressed by it. I just wanted to add that in there. Now back to the food. I made that for, uh, I finished that last year. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Normally I'd use a toothpick to get the meat out of the shell, but my mom told me that this type of snail, you just suck on it, and the meat should be tender enough to separate from the shell. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to get the meat, but I don't mind getting it this way. The sauce that they cooked it with, it just tastes so good anyway. Okay. Pwede ko bang yan today? Ito ito ito. Kung hindi mo mo, try mo. Pick natin ito. Niyat ko yung sandwich mo. The snail. Now I'm going to try the stuffed milk fish. It's really hard to describe how it tastes like. It's not fishy at all. It's kind of creamy. Maybe it's because of the shredded meat inside. But the way it was cooked, which I believe is grilled or maybe baked, it gives it this clean flavor. Look at that. Third type of fish. This is the mackerel cooked in coconut milk. Now I've had this before. I'm not really into it. I didn't really like it before and I still don't like it. Maybe it's because I don't really like mackerel, but the sauce which is made up of coconut milk makes it bearable to eat, at least for me. What's up though? Yeah, it's like the sauce. Yeah. Coconut milk. It's the last coconut milk. I know. Good. And the chara. Pickled papaya. Yep. With carbs, bell pepper, onions, garlic, ginger. Just like they described it, this is called achara. It's basically an appetizer you eat on the side with your meal. It kind of cleans your palate, especially when you're eating fried or greasy food. Bakit pa? It tastes really fresh. It's sweet, not too salty. There's crunch to it because of the papaya. It really neutralizes the taste of what you're eating. Good. As my brother gave my dad a massage, I just continued eating and enjoyed the food. Mm. 
pilang. After lunch, I spotted this in my mom's kitchen. This is one of my favorite snacks when I was a kid. It's kind of hard to get it in the US, but whenever I get a chance, I eat as much as I can. These are called sampalok, which is preserved tamarinds, coated in sugar and salt. Normally they have seeds in them, but this one didn't have it, which makes it easier to eat. But I don't mind the seeds though. and salty at the same time. The funny part when I was editing this video, I don't remember or I don't even have footage of what I did in between lunch and dinner, aside from eating this. To be honest, I think I just sat here the whole time and waited for dinner. So for dinner, we had this. I actually requested this from my mom before I came. As you can see, these are baby crabs. It's kind of a delicacy in the Philippines. It's called talangka. It's too bad it's not in season right now. If it was, this would have been a lot bigger, but I'm not complaining. Next is bangus, which is grilled milkfish. I had this at my brother's house on my first video. This dish is very common in the Philippines. My parents like it because it's healthy and it's really good, especially when you dip it in vinegar and garlic. My dad had one of these during lunchtime. This is freshly grilled tilapia. Now I usually have this fried, I didn't know that there's a special or easy way to eat this. They never told me until later when I started eating it. I was also surprised that they stuffed something inside the fish. I've never had tilapia like this before. Irritability. Look at this. Whoa. You take this out first. Okay. No. Hindi ko part. No, you will peel it from the skin. Tapos mo release mo yung release mo yung flesh niya like this. Um, yeah. Ganyan. Totally wrong. Ano yun? Napo mo na. This is fat. I I was surprised when Indai brought this out. This is one of my favorite dishes ever. It's bamboo shoots. My mom specifically told me that this is fresh bamboo, so you won't be able to have this kind of taste if it's from the can. I'm not quite sure how they cook this or the name of this dish, but every time my mom makes this, I just want to eat all of it until it's gone. But before I get to that, I want to try first the fish and the baby crabs. No, vomiting. No, no, see More babies. Eat more babies. So this is the grilled tilapia. If you noticed earlier, the stuffing is basically tomatoes and some chili. I think it's just to flavor the meat inside. I believe the stuffing inside the fish made the meat tender and juicy and tastier. After this, I don't think I can eat fried tilapia again. <clears throat> and of course, the pickled papaya. You just gotta have this. Pickled vegetables. So good. Mm. Okay. The fish na Bangus. Bangus. Uh, in say English. Milk fish. Milk fish fat. I had this a couple of days ago, so I know exactly what it tastes like. But the way Indai cooked this, 
she just grilled it straight. I don't think she put any other ingredients on it. Maybe aside from salt and pepper, but that's it. Now for the baby crab. I remember when I was a kid, we would just break this in half and just suck on it until it's pretty much dry. I think you're supposed to do it that way anyway. It's the baby crab. This one has a good amount of eggs in it, which gives it the flavor and makes it taste much better. Break this. Pipe for it. Ah, you charger. You charge your 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 charger. You charge People get together, get drunk, and start singing. So when they get drunk, it doesn't really sound like singing at all. It kind of sounds more like screaming. So I guess my brother just decided to drown the noise by playing the piano. But going back to the baby crab, it's not the same taste that I remember it to be. I remember the taste is so juicy and sweet, a little salty. It's just so amazingly good. But this one is kind of bland. Maybe it's because of the type of crab. Or maybe it's not in season, but the taste is not what I remembered it to be. Just a few seconds ago, I drenched the fish, the crab, all of it with garlic and vinegar, which is my favorite sauce, by the way. Mm. Good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The crab head with vinegar. And finally, of course, I didn't forget the fresh bamboo shoots. Fresh bamboo shoot. Fresh that again, Mohan Mikan. Fresh. Bamboo shoot. Kilala ko siya na kan. I have to ask my mom how she cooked this. I remember it has shrimp, I think some pork in there, and what looks like spinach, maybe. But the whole dish itself, I'm not sure what it's called. But one thing I know about this dish is that it's so fresh and clean. There's no oil, it's not salty, it's not sweet. It just tastes different. Good different. Shrimp. Oh. Mm. Well, 
After coming back from Palawan, I'm gonna stay here at my parents' house for about a week or so. After all, it's been three years since I haven't seen them, so I guess I really need to spend some time with them. There's nothing really exciting to do at my parents' house, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to find something to film while I'm here. Honeydew. Oh, that's... 